In this video, I'm going to discuss uh, internal resistance. So internal resistance is essentially, so if I were to have like a battery like this, okay, and it was hooked up to something, you know, some sort of resistor, it could be any sort of like electronic, okay, um, as I, you know, hook this up and turn it on, right, current starts to flow. Um, from one direction to the other, okay, and there's some resistance here, but also as the current, you know, travels through the battery, what ends up happening is that there is some resistance in the, in the voltage source. So internal resistance is resistance in the voltage source. Okay, and you can sort of like an example of this is, you know, let's say that you're, um, you know, you're in your car and you have the the headlights on. If you start the car with the headlights on, the headlights actually dim for a second because they're actually losing some voltage because of the current now running through uh, the battery. Okay, more current running through the battery. So um, the uh, the battery has some total uh, voltage, right? So it has some, like it's a 12 volt battery or it's a, a nine volt battery. And so that is written as E. Remember we we um, we talked about that before when you talked about voltage being this EMF or this um, like electromotive force. And this is said to be like the the total or the maximum possible voltage from the source, okay? However, when you start to run current through it, some of that voltage is lost. So the equation for figuring out what voltage actually gets out of the battery, which is what we call terminal voltage, okay, is taking the total that the, um, the source has, right? So if it was a 12 volt battery or a nine volt battery, minus the current times the internal resistance. So this is the current, and this would be the internal resistance of the battery. And so you most often are you know, given that value and then you can calculate terminal voltage because you just then you know, use resistance of the battery in your equation, okay? Most often, though, for problems where we're dealing with circuits, uh, it will say to ignore uh, internal resistance. So ignore internal resistance, okay? So for most cases when we're dealing with circuits, unless it states that you there is an internal resistance in the battery, then you have to take it into consideration. But for most cases, we'll be ignoring internal resistance.